Hello everyone. How's everybody today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, uh, looks like we've got a nice sunshiny day. And I'm just finishing up my breakfast. And today we are going to plant uh, the field that we cultivated yesterday. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is this will be somewhat uh, of a small tutorial. Uh, you have to realize that course play is in beta which I'm sure all of you are aware of. Uh, and even with, even if course play wasn't in beta, uh, course play is course play. <laughs> so you have to understand that whenever I uh, show you how I set this up, it is for right now and like I said course play is course play uh, so and it's in beta also so that means it could change tomorrow uh, it means it could get updated today uh, you know so please uh, Everything that I show you is what works right now. It may not work tomorrow. Uh, but uh, this is the way that I do it. All right, the first thing that you want to do is, first of all, naturally you want to figure out what you're going to sow and get your equipment hooked up. We're going to sow this field in canola. All right, now once you get into your tractor, the first thing that you're going to want to do is get into your menu and go down here to this CP and it looks like a bunch of waypoints together you want to get in there click on that if you have any courses loaded in that tractor it'll tell you down here to clear the current course that's important because you don't want to load two courses on the same track on that tractor that'll mess things up so you always want to clear that course, okay? Then you can go up here to the tractors. The one with the gear on it, tractor with the gear on it. All right, and in here, uh, for all practical purposes, uh, we're going to show all the waypoints. We want to show them all. You can always come back in here and get rid of them if you want to. Uh, no problem. But for right now, we want to show all waypoints just to make sure your tractor gets on the right course. Uh, I always have my HUD, uh, open the HUD with the mouse, that's activated. Stop at the end, naturally that's activated. Turning on wheel on the field, yes, I always activate that, especially on these kind of maps where you've got trees everywhere. Yeah, they've got to turn on the field. Avoid driving in fruit. Well, there isn't any fruit yet, but I keep it deactivated. Uh, allow reverse for pathfinding. Yes, that's okay. Uh, I keep it activated. Allow using pathfinder in, in turns. I keep that activated. Uh, all right, if you go down here to tool settings, uh, Fold tools at the end of the course. I deactivate that because there's been problems with uh, giants uh, and and the maps. Uh, they tend to want to do all kinds of crazy stuff if you have that activated. Why I don't know. I'm just telling you what I know at this time. Now raise tools and lower tools. Raise tools. I always set that to late. Raise it late and lower it early 
That way you don't miss anything at the edges of the field. Uh, uh, I never use the ridge markers. If I'm using coarse play, they don't need the ridge markers. And this is a good one right here. Sewing machine used fertilizer. If your planter also applies fertilizer, you'll want to activate that so that it puts the fertilizer down also. If it's deactivated, you won't get the fertilizer state. All right. Uh, lane changes. No, I, I deactivate that. Now, if you're running more than one tractor, this is where you would set your link, your, your uh, following distance, convoy distance. We're only going to be running one, so I don't mess with it. That's fine. Uh, and here, uh, I always boost it up like this. Uh, they don't run that fast normally, but I boost it up. Uh, now, what's important is if you are going to be running two tractors, make sure both tractors are set for the same speed on all of these. Otherwise, that's what causes problems with distance. And of course, the debug, I usually deactivate that. Okay, once you get that set the way you want it, then you can save the game. That saves all them settings that you just set. And then go up here to this steering wheel looking thing and press that. All right, now we need to find where we're at. And this is field 25 is the field that we're going to be working in. All right. So what you want to do is go down here and hit create field. And it's got the outline of your field there. Okay. Then go over here and up here at the top, you want to make sure it says CP. That's for course play. Course play field work. Now there's other things. If you just have it set on field work, that's not going to do what you want it to do. It's not course play. Uh, go to, it's not going to do anything for you. It's got to be course play field work. Make sure you've got the right tractor. That's it. The one that we're going to use. Now target position. The only thing that that's far now is to tell your tractor to go there wherever you put that the tractor will go there and stop what we want is field position so click on field position and it's going to give you that little uh target all right so let's just set that target down right here yeah right there fine all right, so your target stays there. All right, and down here, it says create a course before starting the job. Go down here and hit open and close course generator. Click on that. All right, make sure your width is right at 83.6 foot. That's correct. We only have one tool in the field. That's correct. Number of headlands. Three, I think is plenty for this. Uh, yes, I think that's just plenty. And in this particular case, we are planting, so we want to start on the center rows. So I have a center set already. Headland corners, smooth. Uh, you can set it to whatever you want. Uh, round, sharp. I have mine set to smooth. That makes everything go much more harmonically. Headland direction, I always go clockwise, but you can go counterclockwise if you want, or whatever. I just stick with clockwise. Headland overlap, 3%, that's fine. Field center, up and down. Up and down road direction, I usually leave that to automatic and let it figure it out for itself. Uh, rows to skip. Now, on this big planter, 
I always set this one to one, skip one row. And what it'll do, it'll skip the rows uh, as it's doing the center parts, and then it comes back and gets all the rows that it that it skipped. So I use, you know, it, it's hard for to get them to turn around. So I usually just have it to skip a row. You don't have to, and you can skip two or three rows, whatever you want to skip. But I usually just skip one row. Uh, we're not running the lands mode, but if you did, this is rows per land. But that's, you know, we don't, we're not using that right now. Uh, if there's any islands out in the field, you can set that to bypass the islands and how you want to bypass it. But there's no islands out here. Field margin. Now this is kind of an important one, especially on maps like this where you have trees at the edges of the field. Uh, I always bring mine in to minus 0.5 or 0.6. Uh, that keeps the planter right at the edge of the field. If the planter is hanging over the field a little ways, you could clip a tree and cause all kinds of problems. So that's the way I usually set mine up. All right, you're done there. We want to generate the course. Go down here and where it says generate field course. All right, you click on that and wait until it generates the course. And it's taken a minute. All right, it's got the course generated. So we can come over here and close that course generator. And it looks like this is our course. Okay, now you can either hit start job uh, over here, you can see it's going to start at the first waypoint. Uh, but what I usually do is I X out of this. And there's our waypoints. And if you right click your mouse, you bring up the HUD. This is your course play HUD. And you want to set it for the first waypoint there. And this is a temporary course. Okay, it's it's just a temporary course. We've not planted this field before. We don't even know if it'll work. So we're going to just leave it on temporary course and go up here and hit your arrow. Now he is off. And we don't know exactly where he's going to start. Looks like right there. Now remember, he is set up to skip a row. And I know most of you probably already know this, uh, but this is for those of you that watch my channel and you say, gee, <laughs> dirt road farmer, yeah, I see you using this course play all the time. I'd sure like to use it. If you'd show me how, well, uh, this is what I'm doing. And uh, if I can answer any of the questions or if any of this is helpful, that's, that's why I do this. Uh, it is a small tutorial. Uh, it's nothing complicated. But I thought just to get you started using course play, uh, that I would show you this and uh, and get you started. Don't be afraid of it. The worst that it, the worst that can happen is <laughs> your tractors will crash. They'll run in the river or the creek. They'll run in the trees or up a pole somewhere. Or, you know, that's that's all in the fun. You know trying to get it to do what you want it to do. So don't be scared of it. I mean, I'm not saying that to be smart. Uh, there's a lot of people that think 
oh, if I do something wrong, I'm going to tear something up. I'm going to, you're not going to tear anything up. Okay. You're just not going to do it. Everything will be fine. So just get in there and play with it. If it don't do exactly what you want it to do, then get back in there and mess with your settings a little more. And uh, see if that gets you where you want to be. I'm just merely showing you how I set it up. So, and earlier I told you that you can always get rid of the waypoints. All right, so you just go back into your HUD. And go up there and click on that tractor with the gear on it. And you can go up here and you can say start and stop only. That's the only ones I want to show. Save the game. And get out of it. Now your waypoints are gone. Your tractor's still running. Everything's fine. You just got rid of your waypoints. Uh, so, I mean, if you're filming a video or something and you don't really want the waypoints there, you know, that's up to you. That, that's up to you. Uh, for all practical purposes, uh, the first few times that you run course play, it's a pretty good idea, you know, and, and I'm not being crazy or sarcastic or anything, but it's a pretty good idea to leave the waypoints there and follow uh, your tractors or combines or whatever you're running uh, just because if I sat here and told you that you're never going to have a problem I'd be lying to you and I do not want to lie to you so it's a good idea to leave the waypoints there that way you can get them started on the next waypoint you know so but anyway we're going to go ahead and let this guy plant and uh, and we'll get back with you in a moment. All right. As you can see, he's flat getting across this field. He's skipping a row. And those are all the rows that he skipped down through there. Uh, now, what you would probably want to do and uh, I didn't do it because I was fairly certain of what the outcome was going to be. Let's jump out of the tractor. Whenever you first start this, you always want to know what you're doing. Uh, so let's jump out of the tractor. Okay, now, if you have prepared this field, you would know that you own it and the field is fertilized 50 percent if you look down there in the right hand corner okay and you know what all you did to it we came in and we mulched it and uh and then we cultivated it it already had the 50 percent fertilizer on it all right what you want to do is see what you just did all right, now, if you look down there in the right-hand corner, uh, the yield bonus is at 98%. Fertilizer is 100%. Uh, if we were to roll this, it says it needs rolling. If we were to roll this, that would bring our yield bonus up to 100%. Yeah. I don't roll anything doesn't make any sense to me to come in and roll this after you plant it no uh, but that's up to you now that that's just what I do uh, I can't see uh, you're talking about two percent uh, I can't justify the cost that's just me that I am not telling you that that's the right way uh, I'm just telling you that that's my way. I'm satisfied with the 98%. That way it doesn't cost me diesel fuel. It does. I don't have to buy the equipment to roll it. Uh, the time invested in rolling it. Plus, look at this ground texture. Doesn't that look real? I mean, you can't beat that. And whenever you roll it, 
it turns everything black and it looks fake. It looks just as fake as it can be. So I'm satisfied with this. Uh, I'll take that 2% dock. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, throw that out there that you would probably want to do this right off the bat. Just jump out of your tractor and find out what you're doing. That way, if it's not doing what you want it to do, you're not getting the outcome it may not be too late to either add fertilizer or add lime or whatever you need. So, but anyway, we're just going to keep an eye on our guy here and, and let him plant. All right. Now, uh, if you've set your own up by now, you are watching uh, your driver. In this particular case, uh, he has reached the other end of the field uh, with his center passes and uh, where he has skipped rows and now he's going to get ready and start filling in all the rows that he missed. Alright, now this is why right here, and I believe he's going to pull himself out of it this is why we skip a row. Uh, let me just stop him. Now, if you want to, you see how he's stuck. If you want to stop him, right mouse click, it brings your HUD up. All right, come up here and just stop him. All right, now you're in control. And what I usually do is get rid of the, my, uh, cursor so that I can spin around here and I'm going to back him up a little bit and get him started all right now maybe that'll work I tell you what you can even do this you can even come around Say, okay, well, you know that turn was a little tight. He was trying to make an awful tight turn, which is absolutely true. Uh, so what we're going to do now, just pull him up here like this and see what he does. Now, what you want to do before you hit that green arrow is instead of hitting first waypoint, the nearest waypoint. Make sure it says nearest. If you leave it on the first waypoint, he's going to go all the way back down to the far end of the field and start doing exactly what he's what he just got through doing. So go to the nearest waypoint and then tell him to go. All right, and let's see what he does. And as you can see, he is starting his uh, headland passes. So, if you see him doing something that looks crazy, <laughs> welcome to course play. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be silly or anything. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you will see, all the jagged edges and everything, that's the way course play works. And, uh, yeah, uh, the reason I'm showing, and I'm glad that you saw that, uh, where he couldn't make that turn, uh, I'm guilty of it myself as much as anybody else, but if you're watching videos and course play is, I mean, whoever's doing the video, course play is working absolutely brilliantly and flawlessly and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, unless, the, unless the person that's filming the video tells you that it ran completely flawlessly, uh, yeah, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. 
a lot of times they edit the crashes out and that ain't right uh, there's no you know <laughs> uh, but I don't know exactly how he's going to do this it may be that he will I don't know why he started his headland passes now because he hasn't got all the center rows done so uh, we'll just keep an eye on him like I said this is course play so we'll just find out why I reckon uh, it may be that he's going to go back down to the bottom and come back up finishing the center rows that's just something you have to keep an eye on and figure out just watching but anyway um, we'll get back with you as soon as we figure out what he's gonna do all right well he had actually started on his headland passes and that's not right so maybe he took the wrong waypoint uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come around on this side where he got hung up we're going to come in from the opposite direction where we restarted him and we're going to go back in and bring up his waypoints and that's why I said it's always a good idea to leave the waypoints up especially whenever you first start show all waypoints all right so let's get around here And let's see what he was attempting to do. I think what he was t attempting to do was start at, you see that waypoint with the red on it? I'm thinking that's where he was attempting to go, right there. All right, so you bring your HUD up, back up, right click, nearest waypoint, and tell him to go. He just picked the wrong waypoint see now he's on the right one now he's going to finish doing his up and down rows uh, you just have to watch and uh, see on FS19 farming or uh, course play had an option in there for next waypoint we don't have next we have the first waypoint on FS22 we have first waypoint nearest waypoint and last waypoint we don't have the next waypoint uh, they may add that later I don't know uh, but uh, regardless uh, it is what it is and now this may be a place that you will have to for whatever reason you may have to uh, come in and correct you won't know that until he is completely done but uh, yeah now let's see what he's all right looks like he's gonna get turned around and he's gonna so that may be one of the places and like I said you know I don't want you to get upset with it I don't want you to get frustrated and mad and rake your computer off in the floor and stomp your feet and I'll never play I don't want that that's not necessary uh, of course play is in beta remember that for right now they are still working on it so you will have places like that once in a while until they get it perfected 
you'll have places like that that you'll have to come in and fix. That's just the way it is. So, but we've got him started correctly this time. He just picked, whenever I said the closest waypoint, which that's, that's the choice that we have, the nearest waypoint. He, he picked the nearest, but he didn't pick the right one. So we just merely stopped him down there and brought him back up here and tried it again, and that time he picked the right waypoint. So anyway, he's back on track, and we'll just watch him. All right. Uh, now, if you should still be watching your tractor, uh, especially with an impl implement the size of this, we are down here at the bottom of the field where we started everything and you just want to keep an eye on him to make sure uh, that he's going to get started on his headland passes okay and uh, I'm quite sure he will uh, but it could be one of them deals where he's got a tight turn to make just like at the other end uh, so it looks like he's got this pass which is a skipped row so he's filling it in And then I'm sure that he'll probably get started on his headland. So you just want to kind of watch him and just be there to help him. Uh, and <laughs> believe me, uh, even in FS19, uh, course play threw you a curveball every once in a while. I mean, uh, there was always a joke about course play. And uh, <laughs> uh, said person that would sit there and tell you they never had any problems out of course play, yeah, they never used it much. <laughs> So, course play is a wonderful tool, wonderful tool, and it will help you tremendously. You've just got to understand it, and in this particular case, they are still working on it. It's not even released yet as a completed mod. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention also is you want to always try to get the rec most recent update. If you're going to use course play, try to make sure that you get the most recent update on it before you start using it. That gives you every possible chance of it working correctly. So, but anyway, he is working on his headland passes, and uh, I've, we've got him set uh, to do two headland passes because it's such a big, big tool. Uh, that's why I set it to do two of them, giving plenty of room to turn around. So, we'll just keep an eye on him until he gets back around to the first one. Or to the last one, I should say. He's on his first headland pass. But, we'll see you when he gets around to the next headland pass. Alright. By this time, your tractor is about to complete his first headland pass. And... Just a little while ago, I told you that we had two headland passes to do, 
and that is wrong. We've got three. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we've got three headland passes to do. So he's going to move on to his second one here in just a moment, and you just want to watch him just to make sure that he gets it done. And then uh, if you've been watching, every once in a while you'll see places in the field where they just missed. Uh, you use that at your own discretion. Uh, if you can live with it, and, and that's fine with you, okay. <laughs> you know, you're the captain of this ship. Uh, you just let it go. Uh, but if you want to go back and correct some of them places, like the place at the far end of this field, and you'll find that most turnaround places, like this one right here, uh, for some reason they just can't seem to get it right. Uh, and then too, it's got a whole lot to do with the size of the implement that you're pulling. But, you know, that spot right there that he missed, I can't live with that. I'd have to fix that. Now that's just me. That's my own preference. But whenever he gets done, you go through, do the touch-ups that you want to do, and you're done. So we'll let him complete this second headland pass. All right. Uh, if you're still watching your tractor, uh, right now he's getting ready to uh, start his last headland pass. He's on his second one and he's had three to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so he's getting ready to start his last one. So I always just keep an eye on him, make sure that everything is going well, make sure he gets switched over. Uh, I don't see any reasons why he wouldn't right now. So as you can see, everything is going real well. All right. Now, there is one thing that I feel I need to tell you uh, that I did not mention. Uh, let's go back. Let me bring the HUD back up because he's going to go ahead and continue to do his thing. He's on his last headland pass and he'll just go around and come back to his stop point. So let's bring the HUD up. Now, if you are doing a large field, I mean a large field, uh, where you're probably going to run out of uh, seed or fertilizer, uh, I always go into the HUD and set my uh, AI workers to buy. Uh, all the seed and buy the the fertilizer and everything because uh, that's just if you're using course play a lot that's going to cause a lot of havoc <laughs> yeah I mean uh, you're just running one right now so if he stops uh, no big deal but if you have two or three implements running in the field yeah another thing that's very in, very important as far as I'm concerned now this is just my way uh, I always go down here you see this gear over here on the side if you click on that the automatic repair to me that is very important uh, the reason for that, uh, I always click it to keep it healthy. That means your AI worker, your driver is going to repair 
the tractor, the planter, everything that he's doing, he's going to keep it repaired. Okay? The reason you want to do that is, what if you've got two or three running in here, and you know how whenever your uh, tractors need repair, they start slowing down? Well, maybe the one in back of him don't need repair, and he's wanting to go, and uh, it just it just works out much more harmonically if you just set it to keep them healthy. And I thought it was important to mention that. So, but anyway, uh, he's working on that last headland pass, and we'll see him at the end. All right. Well, uh, your tractor will be coming around here, or this one is, uh, to his stop point where he has completed the field. And I will stay with you till then to show you what to expect whenever he gets to the end. Uh, I hope that you have found some of this tutorial helpful. Uh, I hope I haven't left anything out or, or left you guessing at what to do. Uh, that sure is not my intention. Uh, my intention is for you to enjoy the game. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, then you won't play it. And it's just simple as that. Uh, and that's that falls true on anything you do. Uh, your job that you work every day. If you enjoy what you do, you'll never work a day of your life. If you just think about that, that's, that's a fact. So, uh, my intention here is just to help you enjoy the game, uh, help you understand uh, course play, and you know and just try to help if you'd like to share this video with someone that you know uh, might enjoy it please do if you've enjoyed it please give me a like i'd sure appreciate it if you want to follow me hit that subscribe button it helped me tremendously I sure appreciate it uh but for me the dirt road farmer as soon as this guy pulls up here and stops, you notice the stop sign? And he is done. He has completed his course. And it took him about 2 hours and 15 minutes to plant this field. So, but anyway, as for me, the dirt road farmer, we're going to call it a day, and as always, thank you for watching.